Now we go to race two of the day. It is the Senior Rotax Second Chance Heat. Here is your starting grid. So Kamal Manad from Australia in the 3-4-8 will start from pole position alongside Wobby Francis, Nolan Emery. Sebastian Bach from Denmark and Matteo Pianizola from Italy round out row two. Scott Westhovens and Magic Hamera from the Netherlands and the UK round out row number three. Alexander Savinkov from the UK and Lotus Sweden from Denmark will be on row number four. Completing the top ten, it's an all-French row five. Paul Crissel and Hugo Brun. Danny Shields, Paul Simard, Ilias Kaliakmanis, Rafael Jesus, Zach Scowler, Puck Gubbles and Mido Halika are on the grid. I spoke with Daniel Houseworth this morning. Uh, his right arm is in significant discomfort, so will not be taking part. Sverit Uber also looks to be non-starting as well. So we will have 17 drivers instead of 19 battling for the six positions in the top 36. And good to see that Gabriel Murray on the YouTube stream is uh, cheering on a few people that have raced at David Bright's locality at Dubai Kartdrome. Uh, come on, well, he was cheering on George Nassar in the junior second chance seat, and now is cheering on Danny Shields, who starts from 11th position. Uh, has, tw well, um, I think has quite a few uh, kilos of lead on the cart, as I was explaining yesterday. So we will see who will be in the top six provisionally come the end of this race. All results called by myself up here in the commentary position are provisional, pending any sporting checks and uh, judicial, requir uh, judicial requirements for any incidents that occur. The drivers now getting themselves ready and steeled for their second chance heat. Into the tram lines, revs rise. Are we ready? Are we steady? Lights are out first time. And what a start from Nolan MRA right round the outside of Kamal Murad going into turn number one. The Frenchman's going to hold on. And looks like Pianic Solo might have just sprung up into second position, which he has. Danny Shields getting a bit racy around the outside of turn number four on the likes of the 929. Uh, from Paul Simard, who might run under a UK flag, but he, his uh, family is from France, so he, ha he has got the French tricolor on his uh, race overalls and side pods as well. Nine minutes and 24 seconds still to go. The field making their way through into turn number 10, now turn 11. So, great little start there by our uh, driver on the outside of the front row, Nolan Lemare, who we've seen throughout the course this season has been at the sharper end of the field, but is at the sharp end of the second chance heat. So he leads after the opening lap. Matteo Pianizola, Kamal Murad, Morris Hamilton, and we've had a coming together. Alexander Savinkov and Scott Westhovens coming through as Scott Westhovens was bearing the throttle, which was spinning the front tires. Well, and uh, he just lights up the rears of Scott Westhovens. A five-second time penalty in one of his heats actually uh, knocked him out of the top 30. So second chance heat is where something, you know, sometimes you get that second chance and it doesn't always play out your way. But with uh, eight and a half minutes still to go, Lemare still leads. Pianic Sola, Murad. And then we have got Magic Camara in fourth, running on a wing in a prayer, as he always keeps on telling me. Also an aspiring motorsport journalist in his own right. Loves uh, covering a bit of touring cars as Magic. He's now up into, well, he's down into fourth, uh, fifth place, because Sebastian Bach has now moved up into fourth position. Paul Crisel, Lotus Twin, Hugo Brun, Danny Shields, and Rafael Hizos ran out the top 10. Through into the left at turn number four. It's gonna be nip and tuck. The top two have already broken away. They're about eight tenths of a second, well, they're nearly eight tenths of a second up the road are Lemare and Pianid Sola. Well, Manad trying to pull away from Sebastian Bach. They were close to half a second apart on the previous lap. So on lap two that was completed. Fastest lap of the race, Paul Simard. Uh, Simard in, in 14th position, the 929, representing uh, the UK by way of France through 
Had a quick chat with him. Had a University of Bath t-shirt this morning underneath his race overalls uh, when I spoke with quite a few of the paddock as Pianitzola lights the touch paper and puts it through on the inside of Nolan MRA, going through into turn number one to now take the lead onto lap four. Still very close in the train from third down to what will be eighth with Hugo Punt at the back of the train, Kamal Manad from Australia at the front end of that train. Sebastian Bach, Magic Camera, Paul Grissel, they round out provisionally at this moment the remaining part of the top six that will go through to the pre-finals and the finals later on today. Scott Westhovens, no real surprise there after that incident with Alexander Savinkov. Uh, now, unfortunately, retiring from the race. Could have been a very, very different story had he not had a front-faring penalty that dropped him from 11th to 23rd in one of the heats. Lap four completed now. Pianic Sola has the lead as we've got a full course yellow. A full course yellow. We've got someone off into the, into the wall, off of the outskirts of the exit of turn number one. Can't make out which driver that is. Ah, right, that might more than likely be Zach Scowler from the Ass Heat Racing Academy. So marshals and medics on the scene as we speak. Well, they're moving uh, towards the cart that is underneath the bar that's uh, stuck. So the race has now been neutralised. So we are under full course yellow. This will close the field up before we go ready to go racing again. They're just uh, assessing Zach Scowler at the moment, who is completely conscious, completely compass mentis, which is always a good sign to see. So full course yellow has been employed at the circuit. The timer will continue to count down as this happens. So at the moment, Pianic Sola leads the way. Lemare in second. Kamal Murad in third. Fourth is Sebastian Bach. Magic Mera rounds out the top five. Paul Grisel, Lotus Twin, Hugo Brun, Rafael Jesus, Danny Shields, Ilyas Kaliakmanis, Paul Simard, Pat Gubbles, Miro Halika, and Alexander Savinkov complete the 15 strong running order. Savinkov still running after the incident with Scott Westhovens. So the drivers can weave from side to side, but don't do it too vigorously because otherwise you will spin the cars around, even in these temperatures. Air temperature now, 27 degrees Celsius. Good to see Zach Scowler walking under his own power, but with a little bit of a limp, it looks like. And some discomfort is the 316 from the UAE, representing Yaz Heat Racing Academy alongside Zain El Homosani, who will be at in action in Junior Rotax's pre-final at 11.45. Real shame for Zach. He's not had the easiest uh, season here in the Euro Trophy. So driver is now at Marshall post number two on the exit of turn number one. So still under full course yellow conditions here at Kathleen De Fang in the second chance heat for the seniors. They are running in a single file formation. No overtaking permitted. And it will be more than likely a sprint to it'll be a sprint to the end because the green flag is now being prepared by our by our man down at the uh, start line. 
So we may, so they are now going to put us under green flag racing. It's going to be starting from single files, single file restart. So now they will start to slightly pick up some velocity, but not too much. Otherwise, they can get pinged for that. It is still under full course yellow. They cannot overtake until the green flag starts to wave. Now we start to build speed. Matteo Pianisola still leading the way. Lemeray, Mad, Sebastian Bach. Then we've got Magic Himera, Paul Grisel. That's your top six. Lotus Stream from Denmark. She's on the cusp of getting into that top six. She's currently seventh. Head of Hugo Pou, Rafael Jesus, and Danny Shields. That's your top 10 as the dr drivers start weaving from side to side. We are getting set, getting ready for what will be three laps to go once the green flag waves approximately. Now we build speed, back underway, green flag waves. And now Lemare looks up the inside as uh, Pianitzola sweep wide into turn number one. Now he's going to look for the move up the inside through into turn two. Can't get the job done there. Magic Himera holding on ahead of Paul Grisel as they run through turn four. Into the left-hander at turn five. Pianitzola has started to stretch a lead of about three to four cart lengths ahead of, uh, ahead of Lemare as they go through into turn six. Now hard into the braking zone. Pianitzola carrying that momentum through the corners really, really nicely because the Italian is opting to sweep wide into corners to carry that extra couple of kilometers an hour or so through the corners. Next time, it's going to be penultimate lap, a little bit of a scrap at the back of the field. Puck gobbles down to stone dead last at the minute as we will have two laps to go. Pianitzola. Oh, and Grisel trying to go on the offensive against Hamera for fifth place. And Hamera again defending into turn number two and three. If there's a mistake for Magic Hamera, he could quickly drop down outside of the top six, and that's it, game over. Paul Grisel tries to force the issue. Hamera holds his ground, through into turn five. Time has hit zero, Pianitzola still leads. Lemare second. Kamal Murad rounding out the top three for Australia. Denmark in the form of Sebastian Bach in P4. Hamera putting on a stern defence ahead of Francis Paul Grisel. Hugo Brun has now got past Lotus Tween for seventh place and now up the inside. And it's the 337 of Rafael Jesus that gets past the Dane. Danny Shields could also get through, but we've got one more lap to go. 1,388 metres remain until the end of the second chance heat here in seniors. Pianis Hollis still leads. Just, over, just under two tenths ahead of Nolan Lemare, Kamal Murad, Sebastian Bach, Magic Himera, and Paul Grisel might think they are safe at the moment. However, stranger things have happened in a second chance heat. Out of turn four, through into turn number five they go. It's all about sometimes playing it a little bit safer in these second chance heats because if you go for the risk versus reward situation and the risk does not work out, there's no reward for you at the end of it. Hamera, however, has got a little bit of pace now, challenging Sebastian Bach in the latter few corners for that fourth place. One more right-hander, then the rise over the crest still to go here at Marienborg. It looks like it is going to be Matteo Pianitola that's going to pick up the provisional victory. Here in the senior second chance seat, the Italian takes the checkered ahead of Lemare. Murad in third. Fourth, Sebastian Bach. Fifth, Magic Hamera. And Provisioni in the sixth and final spot will be Paul Grisel from France. So Hugo Brun, Rafael Jesus, Lotus Tween, and Danny Shields round out the top 10. With Paul Simard rounding out 11th, Miro Halika 12th, Alexander Savinkov in 13th, head of Ilias Kaliakmanis. Puck Gubbles rounding out the 15-strong uh, field. And it were completed by just over four and three-quarter seconds. Zach Scowler out on lap three, which caused the full course yellow. And Scott Westhoven's out on the very first lap with the incident between himself and Alexander Savinkov, with Westhoven's weekend coming to an abrupt end. Daniel Halsworth not taking part, neither did Sverre Uben. But I have just seen... 
There is a uh, penalty going for the 382. Alexander Savinkov for causing a collision. But that concludes the senior second chance heat.